Hi guys, EVP Man with Tablets for Me, and today we're going to do a review of one of the few cases available today for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S 8.4, and this case is the trifold cover from Belkin. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look, a closer look at the uh, trifold cover from Belkin. Um, this uh, case, it's a pretty simple case, and we've seen this before from Belkin. They have, uh, you know, for the different sized tablets, they have the same case in the case model. Uh, the actual case itself, the finish on the top is a soft finish. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's leather. Maybe some synthetic leather, uh, like PU leather. It really doesn't say anything on the website, nor does it say anything on the materials itself. It's available at your local big box retailer, as well as available online. In the inside, you can have a microfiber material inside with uh, what appears to be um, the ability to, to set your tablet in multiple viewing angles, and we'll see um, how that works uh, shortly. And, and then um, these kind of, there's a kind of a, a small piece of an elastic that allows you to uh, fit your tablet here. Um, it does have cutouts uh, over here for your camera and you'll see here that you have the Belkin name um, as well as you have this elastic cord here that's used to keep your tablet closed. Let's take a look at uh, how your tablet fits in it and what it takes to uh, actually put it in the case. Alright, so I have my uh, tablet S8.4 from Samsung and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push down so I can get these two areas to align. Right. I'll flip it around so you guys can see what I'm doing. And then what I'm just doing is just pulling this up. There's really, um, it's not the most elegant case when it comes to, um, you know, just putting on the, the corners. It's, you know, it's a little difficult at times too. So as you can see, uh, some of the other cases are really easy where you just, it just snaps on. This one is, it always gives me a little trouble. Uh, so it's not that you're going to take it out that often, but once again, it's a, I find it not to be the easiest case when it comes to putting it on. So once you get this thing on, like this, you see how tricky that is. Uh, we'll go ahead and try to get that on. That's one thing I hate about this case. There you go. Um, now that it's on, it's pretty much on. Um, it fits nicely, and if we look at the bottom right here, you'll notice that you do have access to everything. So your speaker is accessible. You can see right here that your um, headphone jack and your ch charging port is accessible. On this side, IR blaster, you'll see also access to your micro SD is good, volume, and, and again, power button there. On this side, uh, your other speaker is again accessible as you can see there it's not covered up and then uh, the other pinhole mic you can see that there's uh, some decent size amount of material uh, right here that's giving you some nice protection on this side however if you look on this side there isn't really a lot of extra material you'll notice that this is really flush here on the side which is a little worrying for me because if, if I were to place my tablet down like this in a, in a briefcase or a backpack I'd be concerned that this is this is too flush so see how these buttons are and if I put it right here you'll notice they're almost in line with the case and that's not good because uh, again uh, if you're gonna put your case in for this specific case if you put your tablet with the actual case like with the butt down just like this you'll be fine but if you happen to slide it the other way the problem with having these buttons so easily exposed and I'm gonna run my finger over here and I can tell you I can feel them uh, the problem with that is that the power button can stay depressed as it's in your backpack or in your briefcase um, or the volume button too and uh, those of you who've been using Samsung for such a long time know that the combination of a power button and an up down or volume rocker could result in a system reset or it could be in a system uh, really erase so not a good design right there uh, so uh, it does support the auto uh, oh, well, I guess it didn't I thought it did support the auto on it doesn't look like it does support the auto on let's try that again we'll turn it off Yep, I guess it does not support the auto on feature so um, that's also I guess a feature that disappointing because most cases today especially for a case like this that is around forty dollars 
you would expect it to be able to support the auto on. But again, there are not a lot of cases available. Um, you really can't have this portion fold in. Um, it does provide, again, good protection in the front, good protection in the back, and it's trim, right? So it is a slim case, but I would have liked there to be a little bit more material on this side. Uh, you can fold it back, right? So if you notice how I folded it right here, uh, you could fold it like this uh, so that you can have this viewing angle uh, for your tablet. You could actually do one of these things so that if you wanted to use it as to type right here, or if you have a keyboard, that, uh, one of those Bluetooth keyboards as you type, you can do that as well. So uh, as I mentioned also, it does have a strap. And this strap that you see here, it's really to make sure that the cover of your tablet doesn't open while it's uh, while you're you're using your maybe putting it in a briefcase or just going to school in the backpack. So all in all, that was the review of the Belkin Trifold case, uh, one of the few cases available uh, for the Samsung Galaxy Tab S4. It uh, is once again available in most big box retailers. Um, it's also available online, and you're looking up, uh, you know, the upper $30 uh, price range for this product. I will put a link for this in the YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And uh, I have uh, another case that we'll be looking at later on today.